episode one up one one two. Did I say hello to everyone? Briefly, yes. But to tell the truth, there are more people. And I can meet them too. Well, I don't know if you can immediately meet them. What shall we do? Mosca. Above my head I heard somewhat a somewhat innocent voice. Lynette. Robin, he is Lynette. He is a steward to the master. Nice meeting you. It was a boy with a beautiful face. He was coming down the stairs in the hall. Grayish golden eye hair and blue eyes. A decent tailored coat. Aside from those things, I wouldn't say he had a distinctive features. But the color of his skin is something we don't see much in this country, and this difference of his gave me a mysterious impression. N nice meeting you. He fended off my remarks with a displeased expression on his face, and then faced Mosca. Mosca? She had lost consciousness soon after she came here, so the master said that she should rest today. Ah, I understand. Sorry, Robin, I didn't think. Well, you didn't need to say so. I have rested for a long time. It'll be more trouble if you faint again. Self-management is one of your responsibilities. I had nothing to say. Hey, use a softer manner of speaking. Shut up. This is my normal way of speaking. That's all for me. Take care of yourself. Yes. If you have any questions, ask Mosca there or go to the chief maid Rehui. Riru. No, asking the chief maid is much preferred. What do you mean? And, after bedtime, don't go out of your room if you can. Dun, dun, dun. Now don't ignore me! A little scary boy. Because there were only gr only girls in the orphanage, this is the first time to relate with a boy of the same age, so she is a girl? Oh no. Heh, no, he isn't scary at all. Lynette is also about the same age as us. Soon you'll be his friend. So call him Lynette, please. You can talk to him frankly. I guess he'll be delighted if you do so. Does he... He isn't bad. Neither obedient. He's just gruff. Saying so with a chuckle, Mosca took my hands again. So let's go back to our rooms for today. Okay. Here it is. A key. This is the key for your room. Don't lose it because there is only one master key left. Please make sure of it. I understand. Thank you. And don't stay up so late. Be sure to lock the door. Pull your blanket over your head. Keep your belly warm. Well, and then and then. <sighs> Thank you for caring. Woo, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. After preparing for bed, I suddenly felt very tired. Will I be able to do well? There were friendly people, but also there were people whom I don't know what they are thinking. Because I will live here from now on, I don't want to make trouble as far as I can avoid it. No need to get along with them, but I just need to be able to dis but I just need not to be disliked by them. Anyway, I'm going to bed early for tomorrow. He modifies and poison freaks. It's just a rumor, isn't it? He woke up during the night. Was it difficult to sleep deeply in an unfamiliar place? Was it difficult? The sunrise is yet to come, but I don't feel sleepy anymore. Think of what to do. I felt thirsty and looked at the pitcher. Ah, it's empty. I noticed there's no water, which made me want to drink more. But... After bedtime, don't go out of your room if you can. It's okay, because I will only go get some water. Walking in the castle at night, I feel uneasiness different from what I feel at daytime. A vague fear that something might appear from the darkness. I don't know it. I don't know. I don't know. It, I can't see it. It's gonna be fun. I don't know. I can't see it. So imagination stimulates various fears unlimitedly. Persuading myself that it's just a rumor. I should have understood, but the words ran in my head regardless of my will. A doomed lord, blood, flesh, and magic. An altar, a devil, and a monster. Freaks. The next thing? I look back, sensing a glimpse. Okay. Hey, Plague. Just gave me a fucking heart attack. Ooh. 
<laughs> it's okay. No, there shouldn't be. So... Probably it's something which shouldn't exist. Did you get some good sleep when you got home? Episode 2, A Chance Meeting. Who caught his blood? I, said the fish. With my little dish. I caught his blood. At first, I didn't know what it was. It can look like it's alive and like it's dead. It looks milky white, but also it looks pitch black. The mysterious thing, which is like my vague fear, takes shape. The path I went along just now, the path nothing should have existed, the distance I could go back if I run. There I'm sure it exists. Soggy. It moved. I managed to move my trembling hands and feet, and I retreat. I'm chilled to the bone by fear. The back of my head aches like I'm beaten. My whole body and my instincts turned off and turned off the alarm bell. Fortunately, it can only move as fast as a snail. That surely is coming toward me. Like creeping. Like walking. It comes toward me. Ooh. Room. I can, I can lock my room. If I slip away from it and go back to my room... I managed to come back to my room and lock the door fast. I felt so relieved and sat there. I didn't have time to look back, but judging from the speed, probably it would soon lose sight of me. I want to believe that anyway. What the hell was it? It wasn't a mistake. I'm sure it existed. A ghost? A monster? Such a creature is roaming around in the castle? Does anybody know about this? Finally, I spent the whole night holding my knees in front of the door. The sound of water is still ringing in my ears. That is a ghost. short little stories. So different from the last stories I've done. I had to read for three to five to six hours to get a chapter. Good morning! Did you sleep well? Yes, thanks to you. Actually, I couldn't sleep well, but I can't make her worry about me. That's good! Today you are going to learn how to work. In the end, I still don't know what that was yesterday. It is too uneasy for me to worry about the incident alone. But I don't want to talk about it to anyone. I'm afraid that he might think I'm crazy. I don't know what to do if I see that again. What's wrong with you? Are you feeling bad yet? No, I'm okay. Are you sure? Take care of yourself. I'm too stupid to notice anything, so let me know about anything anytime. Yes. There you are. When deja vu comes to me, there appears a difficult book. It's yesterday called Lynette. Lynette. Good morning. Lynette is with us today. Shall we play together? No. Robin, the master's calling you. Come with me. What? Mosca, chief maid Rehui is calling you. He's, she said you should come to his her room. What did I? I swear they used the translator for translating this to English because they get the genders backwards a lot. What? Did I do something wrong? I don't know the details. Don't make her wait so long. Okay, Robin, see you later. Let's go. Yes. Awkward. <laughs> time has passed by as it is quite... quite. Lenin is not the type of person who entertains others by chatting. Now I know how much Mosca has been helping me. No, I shouldn't always depend on someone. I should start talking to. Lin... Lynette was walking in front of Robin, and he stopped walking. Uh, uh, well, I was told to call you like that. Mosca told you that, right? However much I tried, I couldn't see joy from his expression. I'm sorry, well, uh, how should I call you? Lynette. Miss Lynette? Just call me. It's a mister. They'd already decided he's a boy. Just call me Lynette. Oh, I see. Do you understand? Don't ever call me Lynn again. Lynette only said that with his anger bottled up and started walking again. God, the translations. It is not what you said, Mosca. I continued talking to him as I tried to blow away the uncomfortable atmosphere. Well, I heard you are similar age to me. How old are you? I'm 17. I'm probably two years younger than you. Probably? I grew up without knowing when I was born exactly. 
I'm sorry. Almost anyone in this castle is like me, so don't care about it too much. By the way, Mosca is the same age as me, probably same as me. I thought I asked an insensitive question, but he seemed he didn't care so much. He stopped walking again and looked back at me. You don't need to feel scared about the master. Yesterday he was just feeling irritated. It doesn't mean you will be told off again today. Be polite to him. Yes. If you understand that, go in. I didn't realize because I was focusing on talking with him, but we were already in front of the master's room. I don't feel good about this. Excuse me. Good morning. Did you call me? I went in, but I got- I get intimidated by him like yesterday. I don't see what he is thinking. He doesn't speak. He just stares at me. Lynette was saying like that. Thank you for coming all the way here. What? What he said was unexpected. It was a p back padding word. You fell down as soon as you arrived. Take care of yourself. It, it is too good for me. Thank you for such kind words. I feel relieved as I find out I'm not scolded by him. He cares about me. The reason why you fell down was tiredness, nervousness, and a lack of nutrition. I understand how you grow up. Yes. You have been eating unhealthy food so far. You might get stomach aches soon. This is not a pig hut like the orphanage. Brace your arms. Is this? He doesn't care about me. Just a sarcastic remark. I felt embarrassed to find out about my misunderstanding. Yes, it is natural that lord lords like him don't care about people like me. He was just saying... He was just speaking about my mistake yesterday. You don't look well, do you? Uh, so sorry. I became unmotivated. That's enough. Get out. Okay. Uh, he wasn't angry at me, but I might have felt better if he was just angry at me. He doesn't like me. My heart still beats very fast. I take some deep breaths and nervousness and fear goes away. Then I realize. What should I do next? I just came into the master's room, but he doesn't say any details. Neither Moscow nor Lynette is here. There is no one coming toward. What should I do? This is like... I think I'm going to search for someone. If I wait here, no one will come. I'm interested in seeing inside the castle a little bit more. I just say that because I'm afraid to be seen as lazy by the master if he comes out of his room. I shall walk for a while, and if I don't see anyone, I will come back here. He walks slowly so that she won't forget the way back. The path was a dead end. She turns back in order to go back the way she came, but she realizes something at the hallway and looks in the hallway and looks back. The door. There's nothing else around here. Maybe this is why the door stands out. No one is here. Because it is here where no one is. It must be a storeroom or a guest room. She thinks so, but she is still interested in the door. Why did we go from first person to third suddenly? That must be it. As she expected, there are no replies nor sounds from the room. I should go back now. Hmm. <sighs>